It's day four, and what you heard there was the same chord progression from day three, but we mixed up the strumming pattern. So today we're going to talk about a new pattern in 4-4, four, four, similar to the island strum, but the variance makes it sound really, really cool. So get yourself tuned up, and let's check out a new pattern. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. If you're interested in more learning resources, head over to allforyuke.com where we have a full searchable library of songs, song sheets, practice tracks, worksheets, and more. All for you, allforyuke.com. All right, let's dive into this new pattern. So the pattern we're gonna check out today, I'm holding an E minor chord, is down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So if we take again, we know that one and two and three and four and all we're doing here is we're starting off with one and two and, and we're omitting the down strum for three and we're going to ghost over that and do up, down, up. So we have one and two and, and four and. So let's just do that together nice and slow and say the pattern to yourself as you do it. If you need to watch your strumming hand in this early part, no problem. Here we go, holding an E minor chord. Two, three, four. One and two and and four and one and two and and four. So let's try that now. Again, we're gonna use the same chords from day three. We're gonna use E minor and G major seven here with a metronome set at 90 BPM. So we'll go nice and slow to kind of work on getting through this together. We're gonna to do two times on E minor, two times on G major seven, back and forth. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, switch. Now let's take that strumming pattern and apply it to a four chord progression. Again, we're gonna use this chord progression E minor twice, G major seven twice, A minor twice, and B seven twice. So we'll use the metronome at 105. I'll give us a count in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforyuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us, and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All for you, allforyuke.com slash shop. All right, now we're gonna add another element here we talked about earlier in the series called staccato. So what if we took that same pattern and we made one of the strumming hits staccato? So in this case, we're gonna do down, up, down, up. And that is gonna be a staccato on that second up strum followed by up, down, up. So let me do that nice and slow so you can hear it. So we have down, up, down, up, up, down, up. 
So to get that staccato, what I'm doing is, right after I do my up strum, instead of letting it ring and decay like that, I release my fingers, but I keep them touching on the strings. And with my thumb here for the E minor, I'm kind of wrapping that to deaden that string. So when I go up here for my E minor, we get this short version of E minor instead of. So again, nice and slow. So when you add that in with the strumming pattern, you have this. It causes that nice little break, which makes it feel a little bit more rhythmic. So we're gonna do that on the second up strum of the pattern every single time here for this. So if you need to spend some time just working on the staccato element, I encourage you to do so. Spend plenty of time with this chord progression. So we're gonna do this again at 105. Same chords, same number of times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. you're having fun learning these new strumming patterns thank you for joining me today make sure you grab the worksheet from allforyuke.com and leave your comments below let me know how you're doing with these strumming patterns and let me know where you're playing around the world i love to hear from you guys thanks so much for learning with me my name's kevin i'll see you next time let's get carried away.